CIA 3 News at 10. I, I would love to see change too, but that's not the way to get it done. Organizers in Danville rallied twice today to show their support for local law enforcement. Good evening, I'm Jen Lask. The rally was held outside of the Vermilion County Public Safety Building. It comes in response to the state's latest criminal justice reform bill. WCIA 3's Jared Farmer was at the rally. Jared, can you tell us what issues they have with the bill? Jen, I spoke with some of the organizers who tell me they feel like the bill puts police on too tight of a leash. However, supporters of the bill reiterate that the ultimate goal is to get police to be more accountable for their conduct. Some could be heard chanting. Others waved their thin blue line flags. Police and other drivers honked their cars as they passed by. State Representative Mike Marin was also in attendance of the event. He says police are concerned that the bill would make people in town less safe. Their spirits are low. A lot of them contacted me when we were discussing the bill in Springfield. And, uh, you know, it was a hit on their morale. Rebecca Holt Miller organized the rally. She says police officers, including her husband, feel blindsided by the bill. She says punishing all police for the actions of a few bad officers would be counterproductive to policing. I believe 99% of law enforcement would love to see reform and change of some kind, but it needs, they need to be asked. They, the bill was written by people who know nothing about their jobs, have never spent a day on a shift with them at all. Supporters of the bill argue the intention is not to attack or alienate police officers. In a statement, the Champaign County president of the NAACP, Minnie Pearson, countered by calling for good cops to start holding their fellow officers accountable for wrongdoing. And by not passing this bill, the state would reinforce current structural problems that the black community faces with police. The bill primarily ends the cash bail system in Illinois, but also includes a number of other measures focused on police transparency and accountability prisoners and detainees rights and bans the use of certain military equipment bill has passed through the state senate and house and is now waiting to be signed by governor pritzker who has indicated that he plans to sign it into law live in the newsroom i'm jared farmer wcia3 your local news leader all right jared thank you